Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are breaking out the 606, taking out a class 70. <clears throat> Excuse me, taking out the C70 Big Betty Ain't Ink Railroad. Already all attached. It's off. We have put wood in. We have taken off the brake, so we are pretty much ready to roll out on the nice and gentle. Looks like the switch out there is in the right direction. Try to do this right for a change. Slide off the brake. Chill this thing out nice and easy, easy does it. Zoom her back on the old camera there. <clears throat> Say, G Betty, with the <laughs> with his hand sticking out, it cuts off the rest. It's kind of fun. Wait a minute. We just about derail. Right there. This is gonna be that way. How the heck did we almost... Huh. Oh, there goes the idea. We set up the switches. <clears throat> only switch you really needed to set up. Apparently, all, the only one I checked was the one right outside. Yeah, what are you going to do? Sometimes... You just don't see what's coming. Alright. We're gonna let the steam go off. Let the bell go off over in the yard. Alright, everything else is track in. So the plan for the day is we are gonna pick up the boxcar loads and run it out. So, I don't know. It just looks cool out there. Hate having it not out there because I always thought it looked cool being able to go by and stuff. And where I figure we can't use the Class 70 over the crossover. Or at least on a reliable, dependable basis, that's for sure. We are going to put the Class 70s where they do not have to go over it. And for us, uh, one of the loads we know are not going to have to go over it is this one. Probably actually going to change that steel pipe uh, load out there and throw a class 70 on it. Um, just because it obviously doesn't have to go very far for either one of the drops for steel. So we're just going to turn around and... Uh, Use class 70s for that kind of stuff. You gonna let me up the car? How do I? Huh. This could be a problem if it won't let me up there to let go of the brakes. Guess we'll see what happens here in a minute. I'm sure we'll figure something out. No problem. But I know this was one of the ones. This was the first one we actually stored. So I know we separated it nice. Put the brakes on everything nice. That one was stored how we were going to store them all nice and permanent like. But plans sure do change. Put 
push back, push back. At least the nice thing is we're doing it with the class 70, which has got plenty of power to push through whatever we need to push through. See if we can push that all the way up to the caboose. Looks good. Lock it down. Should then be able to hop out of here. Oh, we got. Oh, shoot. Should have done the brake while I was up there. Alright, brake off. We'll just get them all over up here. Oh. Alright. Pin, pin, pin. Pin. And that one's pinned. I think we need one more back here. Boom. Alright. Take a wander through the old caboose. We haven't been back here for a while. There's still no light up there. Oh, there's a light up there. Groovy. Not that we really tend to put one up there, but. Good looking caboose. Red hotness. <laughs> All right, so in we go. Boom, boom. Roll out. Probably forward. Get it underway. It is a short train, but a good looking train, that's for sure. This is this kind of classic cartoony looking train, I think. Classic box car with the little red caboose, you know. Digging on that. Say big bitty. Lamb lamb. Take it out of here nice and chill. See if we can get it out without having too many problems. Get all nuts and derail everything right here. We will be changing that yard up once we get everything out. That's for sure. Different plan of action. Alright. Now let's see. Of course, now this thing's probably headed in such the wrong direction to go where we want to go with it. Not that it matters. I guess we can turn it around out there any old time we want to. Probably. Yeah, one way or another. So chug a lug a lug. Oh, we forgot the whistle at the main line. That's a problem. Turn off the cylinder cocks now. Steam should be purged. No more problems. Kick that up a gear. Full speed ahead. That means watch the torpedoes. No, I don't know. <laughs> this is this is crooked as all heck, but I like it for some reason. I don't know. It makes it look more like authentically real, I guess. I don't know. You often see track where it just all of a sudden's like whoop whoop, but it dips even in the middle of nowhere for nothing or seemingly nothing. Clear on switch. 
and I think we'll just bring it down and back her in. I don't think we have any need to fill this one up. And if I remember everything correctly, the as long as we have the tools filled, it means we get more pipe when we drop stuff off. Uh, if I remember right, it, they changed it to, it used to be when you were full, you were just wasting one side. And then they changed it to where if you were full on one, it doubled up the other, if I'm not mistaken. I could have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure they made that change a long time ago. So I'm not going to load up with the tools until we need them. No point there. All the stuff it takes to fill up all these pipes and whatnot, or uh, the ironworks. Ironworks is a big enough pain to fill that if I can get double pipes for, see, yeah, we're down to six pipes. So our next real deliveries are going to be coming to whatever is lacking out here. Looks like we do have a quarter coal. I really want to get to work on that. I might, you know, try to see if I can get somebody to come into the server and help run some coal loads to get that full. So anybody interested there, iron work or iron, raw iron. What I'm looking for obviously needs to get filled to plenty of wood yeah so well we definitely need to do some work out here with the ironworks and get that filled back up so that coal is just such a such an effort when one is running solo that it's like you know how many loads do you want to do obviously I haven't done a ton because I can never get it full so <laughs> all right switching rails that gets a whistle parking that gets a bell Coming up with new rules on the railroad, right? So. Parking and switching and that whole thing. Just. We're going to try to start belling it and whistling it. And. Somewhat of an appropriate. Bell operation. I don't know. We'll figure it out at some point. We're not quite at the two short toots and long toots yet, but maybe we'll get there one day. Yeah, the more I, this red is starting to grow on me, I guess, the more I use it. I did not originally, uh, was not a big fan of that color. But there we are, Big Betty Class 70 straight pipe. 606 break is set she is good whenever she decides to stop clanking her bell around we will set the break for the tinder and then i think we're gonna call that one as success one short trip but one less thing we gotta do later so Wanted to get that out just because, you know, it looks so lonely out here without anything out here. It just, it needed something. So, there we go. One loco back at work and doing its job. So, remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel grow. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.